So Quill is a tool to transcribe anything and then turn it into useful actions and keep track of your tasks, keep your team up to date and really just be your sort of personal assistant second brain. And so, as you know, it's private. Everything is stored locally only. There's nothing stored in the cloud. So that's also really awesome. So how do you get stuff into Quill? The way that most people use is just by clicking start. So when you click start, it's going to start a capture. It's going to start recording. I'll drag it over here so it's a bit easier to see. You can see that the microphone is peaking, which means that we're recording microphone. And if, yeah, it picks up. Even if you have headphones on, it picks up your audio. Okay, great. So what is this window? So you actually don't even need the main Quill window open when you're recording. This is the only thing you need. And the really cool thing about this is this means that you don't need a bot in the meeting. It's really personal. And this is basically like your little recorder window. So this just shows up in the top right hand of your screen. You can even just close it if you want, and it won't show up during the meeting, but it still be recording. So let's talk a little bit about these icons. This is a really cool button. This basically takes a highlight and highlights the thing that was just said so that later on in the notes, it will draw attention to it. And I'll show you that later. And then this one takes a screenshot and it automatically takes a screenshot of the tool that you're using, like Zoom or Meets or whatever Teams or the full screen if you're not using a tool. This one takes you back to the notes window to show you the minutes that have been written live. So let me click on that now and you'll see that it will bring up the minutes. Okay. And I'm just going to close it again so you can see this again. This will, this will have the microphone and show you like the microphone moving. And again, you can have headphones on, it will still listen. And this is like really cool. So there's another secret feature I want to show you, to show you as well. You can actually just click this and it will mute the microphone and it will no longer record that part of the speech, which is really nice. So you, you, there's actually options just to mute the microphone there. And finally, this is like a little pie chart showing you how much of an hour is used up and it will go around and after an hour and get even darker. Okay. And then here you can even type your own notes. So like, um, right. You can type your notes and they're time stamped, and you can also just like write full on notes if you want as well. And they'll later be augmented and used in your, in your notes. So this is like a personal notepad. You can write nothing or little or a lot in here, and that's totally fine. And again, you can just click highlight and that will highlight the moments that we just said as well, like about 10 seconds either side. So that's like super, super cool. And then one final thing is you can actually use keyboard shortcuts for this. So if you use command option one on Mac and control option one on windows, you can highlight and the same with screenshot, it's number two. So you can use those smart, you can use those smart keyboard commands to automatically do this in the background, even when this isn't open or even when this isn't showing, which is super nice. And if I do it right now, you can see it shows that it, it took a note. Originally I just wrote this, but then what it enhanced was these things around what, when I said them or when I highlighted them, which is really, really cool. Isn't that awesome? So basically this is then used in all your other notes as well to make sure that the notes are drawing attention to whatever you click. So all you did is maybe hit a keyboard command and it automatically figured all this stuff out, which is really nice. And this auto screenshot thing, which is on by default for pro users is super cool. Basically that will automatically screenshot your video tool. If it's like zoom or meets or teams every 20 seconds. And if there's content being shared by the other party, we detect that content and we'll save that screenshot and we'll actually write a little bit about that screenshot. And then we'll include that in the notes as well. So that's a super, super cool feature. And even when you take it manually, it will also write something about the screenshot, but like, that's really nice. Cause if you're just like looking at slides or people are sharing their screen or a customer sharing your screen, that's a really nice thing to have on. And, and that's like a super, super great way to get sort of like a, a little story about what happened on their screen as well. So that's the overlay. Let's go back into the main window. So the next thing I want to show you is you can also import. So you can click on import and just import audio files choose a language. You can also just paste some transcript in there. You can also even input a YouTube URL. So that's a super cool way to get, these are other cool ways to get audio or data into Quill, which is like super cool. And then finally, it's really nice to have your calendar connected. If you connect your teams or Google calendar, you can automatically start on those events and you don't have to manually start Quill using, using these buttons. And the other thing is if you go ahead and look at these things, you actually have many other options for auto starting Quill as well which is super nice. And these will start and stop Quill automatically depending on when you're in the meeting. So we do recommend you connect your calendar. The second advantage you get with connecting your calendar is that you'll get the participant names as well in your meeting. So that's like super nice. So yeah, do recommend you do that. We do have a mobile app. That's another way you can get things into Quill. So if you open the sidebar here or go to the homepage, you can click on this button and go to the mobile app. And here you can scan this on your phone, on your iPhone, and it will download the app and then just click here to scan a code. And when you scan that code, you'll be logged into the mobile app. And your mobile meetings will get synced back to your computer automatically when they're done and then transcribed on your computer. And you can do all the same stuff on your computer with those mobile meetings. So that's really nice.